In number seven, they ask you to describe the shape of the stem and leaf plot. Students get con confused with this often. Remember, this is the stem and leaf that I found using the data. Remember, my data was changed. All you have to do is I want to show you. I'll, I'm going to control C, copy this, and paste it over here. Then I'm going to come over here and say, all right, rotate it. This is just, you don't have to literally rotate it, but from, from a viewpoint, you want to do that. Remember what I said. This, let me just put a box around this. This is your stem and leaf plot right here. Wow. But no fill, but with a box around it. So if you look at that, you can see, I'm going to draw, see if I can freehand draw something right here. You can see that this is a distribution that tails off to the right, just like that cat did, remember? See if I can bring my cat back up. There he is. So the cat, the distribution has a tail on its right, but with the stem and leaf, you have to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. So you would describe the shape of that graph or of that stem and leaf plot. You would say the stem and leaf plot was skewed to the right or had a tail to the right because the most of the uh, values were to the left, which were, you know, and then it tapers off to the right. If you simply say it is skewed to the right, you'll nail this one. 